Welcome to the 8th edition of World Intellectual Property Forum. The inaugural ceremony will be starting in few minutes. Chief Guest Sri Suresh Prabhuji, Guest of Honor Sri Narendra Sabarwal, former Deputy Director General WIPO, Sri Pushpendra Rai, Director WIPO, Sri Jaya Raghavind, Joint Secretary Department of Law and Justice, Sri Praveen Anand, Managing Partner Anand Anand, Sri Dr. Saurabh Khemani, Group Director, Alison Dower and Company, my friend Dr. V.K. Singh, Regional Manager, NRDC, Sri Jatin Trivedi, Y.J. Trivedi and Company. Esteemed speakers, learned participants, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to thank organizers for inviting me here to share my views in this conference, World Intellectual Property Forum 2020, being organized on intellectual property in Atmanirava Bharat, create, protect, and promote. Okay. This conference has come on very appropriate time to inspire the young generation especially during the pandemic time they are difficult to meet physically so online conference will highlight various important topics concerning intellectual property rights. Today I am extremely happy to share that as per WIPO worldwide indicators on IP, India office has granted around 69% more patents in 2019 as compared to 2018. India has also attained its position in top 10 in terms of filing of patent application and trademark application as well. As you all know, the government of India released National IP Policy 2016 to promote intellectual property in the country. The policy focuses on various objectives such as creation of intellectual property, increase in patent filing, administration of IP offices, transfer of technology, enforcement, etc. Intellectual property, as you all know, plays a very, very important role, not only in technological development, but also economic development. During this pandemic time, the countries are facing economic situation and 
promoting intellectual property and cre its creation and exploitation will certainly one of the ways which leads to the boost in economic boost in the economy government of india has taken several initiatives to promote ip by bringing changes in intellectual property related regulations from time to time in recent years in 2016 the concept of expedited examination was brought in for the applicants which are startup companies and applicant who select indian office as isa and ipa in order to boost the intellectual property of startup companies government also brought up a scheme known as sipp scheme for promoting intellectual property of startup companies which provides expedited examination reimbursement of fee appointment of facilitator reduction of filing fees at a sector and 2019 sees a expanding the applicants who become entitled for expedited examination government has also increased the manpower in the ip offices to ensure that pendency time is reduced the first actions is issued timely so that patents are granted within a reasonable time trademark are registered trademark are also registered in within a reasonable time and same in case of design and copyright the various strengthening measures taken by the government has brought the pendency time to 3 to 4 years now uh, which is further will be reduced to 2 around 2 years in case of patent in trademark it has already come down to 1 month and design also and in copyright 3 months from the date of filing of the application now time has come to further improve the functioning of the ip office as timely registration of intellectual property right gives a confidence to the creator the owner of intellectual property to commercialize to exploit the inventions the trademark to license them to third party if they are not able to do so and timely registration build the confidence to enforce their ip rights in case the intellectual property is infringed by others so timely registration timely grant of intellectual property right also plays very very important role and i'm sure the this timely action of ip office certainly promote the ip culture of creativity and protection in all kind of people whether it is young children the students faculty members professors the country r and d department scientist as you all know the india is publishing lot of research papers around more than 2 lakhs research papers and these research papers focusing on creativity and improvements in the processes in and development of new products but 
there is no mechanism at school level at institution level at university level which review these papers before they are published to identify as to whether there is any intellectual property right is which can be protected before the papers are published as you all know that in the last year the china filed around 14 lakhs patent application around 13 lakhs design application around 11 lakhs utility models similarly us files around three to four lakhs patent application and so is the case of japan and more than two lakhs applications are filed by korea south korea japan is a ip nation they have very little natural resources but they have intellectual property now in india you see all brands most products being manufactured by japanese companies american companies foreign companies so now it is time for india to get inspired focus on creativity on creation of intellectual property and commercialize them and also to see in future that india transfer the technology to foreign countries and as our honorable prime minister says vocal for local so we need to focus lo local creativity manufacturing so that our product can become global now let, let us make aware the people to take the advantage of various initiative taken by government of india to promote intellectual property and its creation for instance scheme for startups expedited examination facilitators expedited examination for women applicant expedited examination for common institutions expedited examination for the institutions uh, of, uh, and financed by the government r d centers of government of india and state government and these are the various moves by the government of india recently government has come out with amendment in the patent rules which reduces the fee for msme compared to the companies also the government has come out with latest amendment in the form 27 for commercial working of patents earlier it was very cumbersome only one form for one patent but now it the new form is so, so designed that you can provide a single form for various numbers of patents which are related to the same technology now other part like reasonable requirement not met whether the public requirements are met whether the patented product is is sold at a reasonable price all those requirements have been removed now it has been simplified and this will certainly give a boost to the patent holders to file timely information with regard to the commercial marking. So 
also I would like to repeat again the time is to ignite the young mind to introduce IP awareness in school, colleges and university which will certainly promote intellectual property and its creativity and its commercialization. This two days conference is going, is going to focus on various important issues concerning intellectual property rights and I am sure that these two days are going to become very very interesting. I wish you all the best and great success to this conference. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.